Hi everybody, I just bought 1 million OMI. Why did I do that in the midst of the biggest crypto crash that we've seen in a long time? I don't know, maybe I want to change my name to Randy? I'm not sure. Let's talk about it. So as we know, over the last week, it's been a really rough one. Even in the last you know, couple weeks, it's been a really rough go for crypto, NFTs in general. Everything is sliding down. Maybe sliding isn't the correct word. Crashing is probably the better term. And uh, I decided to buy another 1 million OMI. And why did I do that? Let's discuss that. Is it smart? I don't know. Uh, as all my videos, really, this is just my thoughts. And I try to tell you what I'm doing in the VV and NFT market. It's not financial advice. And, uh, and you want to do your own research. All those other things that uh, everybody talks about definitely apply. And we can see the results of that here. I mean, if you put money into these type of speculative markets, or really any market these days, uh, it's really pulled back. And so depending on kind of your financial position in them, it could be painful. And if you're over leveraged, it could be really painful. So you want to be careful of all that. Um, I really, and I've talked about this, put a small percentage of uh, my overall portfolio, whatever you want to call it, into these type of speculative uh, collectible markets. And uh, you want to be careful. You definitely want to be careful. And you have to think about short-term, long-term, mid-term goals. You want to think about all these things and where you are at and where you want to be. But let's talk specifically more about OMI and kind of why I did what I did. So as we've seen over the past couple weeks, everything has you know literally crashed. Uh, markets in terms of crypto and NFT projects are really, really down. And my thought process behind all this is that many of them are not going to recover. They're not going to recover to their all-time highs. They might not recover to 50% of their highs. And that's because, uh, you know, we can go into why it happened and this and that. And I might not even know. I'm not a financial expert by any means. But when we see this type of crash, it's really a vetting process. You know, it's the whole game of only the, you know, strong are going to survive. And in my mind, when I look specifically at Ecomi, Vivi, and Omi, I feel like they are in a strong position. And literally, it didn't affect them. And that's what's interesting and shows their strength, I think. In other words, they're going to come out and have come out with multiple drops last week, this week. They've sold out. And... They're dropping Thor soon. Most likely that's going to sell out. Now, the secondary market has really pulled back. But when you're thinking about it from more of the token perspective, I almost look at it kind of like investing in a company. And so when you're investing in a company, you know, you're looking at a variety of different things. But there's, you know, kind of the core things that everybody looks at, which is, you know, what's the leadership? Well, in some of these projects, you know, we don't even know who the leadership is. But in the Ecomi Vivi, we know who they are. Um, they're really, really active on social media. Um, and I saw uh, David Yu speak on Randy's channel. I'll link that. It's a great uh, interview, questions. And you, once again, get a feel for who this person is. And it's impressive. And he has a lot of experience. Now, another thing when investing in a company you're going to look at is, do they have an audience? Do they have a product that works? Clearly, they do. We're utilizing that. Do they have uh, a competitive advantage? And as I've discussed before, they have signed deals with all these unbelievable brands from Disney, Marvel, etc. They have a new promotional code with the Jurassic Park movie, so you'll get an NFT from that too. So they have a lot of interesting new and proven products. They have tens of thousands of users that are buying these collectibles online. Now, as you've heard me say many times in my various uh, videos, you know, do you wish it was going faster? Do you wish there was more? Yes, yes, we wish all of that. But now in a situation where the final question would might be, which is, who are the competitors and are you ahead of them? And what's interesting, I think, with this crash is it's going to weed out a lot of potential competitors, even some maybe that, you know, we haven't seen yet. Now they might be scared to go to market. Vivi's got this huge lead. I think it's going to extend this lead. And as I said in my last uh, video, they're going to drop the logo soon, which should give them a bunch of cash, which in an environment where it's potential that many other people 
are selling their NFT, they're doing other things to raise cash, they are going to actively have a way to do it. And there's two ways in which you're going to um, receive cash. You know, and we've talked about this before, is their web app will allow them to get better, fee, uh, reduce the fee so they'll get more money in that way. And as we said, they're going to start selling VV specific things. The first thing is probably going to be their logo and they'll make money in that way. Obviously, they can raise money. And in this situation where everything has crashed and people are going to basically be hurting for money, I think that they potentially have ways to raise money immediately. And that makes me very, very bullish on that. Now, another thing that were announced this week is there's a new staking program with Ascendex. There's multiple uh, individuals that have built games. There's going to be continue to be to be other things active with that token. We know that uh, the VV app continues to charge forward week after week. There's multiple things that are still in the pipe, which we always pound on the table and say, when, is, when are they coming out? But from the perspective of an investor saying, what are these new catalysts that could make the thing go up? There are a couple out there. Obviously, we're, we know the MCP, the Master Collector Program. We saw how exciting that worked for HRO. We we know that the VVverse, they said that they're going to have perhaps some version of it out this year. But, you know, maybe it is even early next year or even late next year. But these are things now that other companies, because of this crash, they might be struggling just to make it through. Maybe they don't make it through. And VV is one of those people standing there. So that is why... I decided to invest by another million Omi. It is really, really, really down now. And so I felt like um, in examining some of the numbers, if I were to buy it and it were to move up even to where it was before, not even, you know, $10 or $1 or any of these other crazy, just back to what it was before, 0 0.008, um, I would be able to make uh, quite a bit of money back that I already invested in. So it was something that I looked at. I did some numbers on, obviously, my own research, and those are some of the conclusions that I came to. So this is going to be a very interesting market to watch over the next year, two, three, four, five years. I don't think any of us know what's going to happen, but it's going to be a fun ride. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon.